Welcome to Robert Lawyer, where I give you the ins and outs of graphic design as it pertains to logos, t-shirts, and GIF animations. Today, people, today, I am giving you two ways to make t-shirts just like Forever 21. You guys, this was a very well thought out and planned graphic t-shirt tutorial. I personally made the mock-ups and everything, so you guys, if you want that mock-up, make sure you check my website at robertloyal.com. And if you like this tutorial today or you learned something, let me know in the comment section below. Hit me a thumbs up. Subscribe at your own time. But at this time, I'm going to go ahead and get an illustrator while I'm building up my assets for this t-shirt right now. So before I start, there's a few things that are worth mentioning about Forever 21 and the style that I am creating. Forever 21 targets that collegiate who wants to stay in style, hence the name Forever 21. They also try to target children who are coming to age in this new generation. They primarily design in the minimalist style, but they dabble in the other forms like Art Deco, Art Novo, Abstract, Abstract Patterns, which is basically just a modern take on the quote unquote high fashion. The style that I chose to focus on today is their primary style, which is minimalism, and their abstract forms. Now I had to create a thumbnail sketch of these before I started going in my direction and I pretty much got these approved from somebody who's just a loyal customer of Forever 21 but now that I got those prerequisites out the way we can actually start the design process. Okay so getting into Illustrator I'm just going to go ahead and start my new artboard so I'm just going to go ahead and name my preset Forever 21 and then I'm going to keep the width at 14 and make it a 17 height. I'm doing two designs so I'm going to go ahead and start two artboards. I'm just going to go ahead and hit create. So now that we got our artboard set up, all I need to do is just kind of scale down so I can see them both side by side. So one thing I like to do is just go ahead and command quotation mark just to bring up my grids, okay? And then command R to bring up the rulers. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this layer and name it grids. Now on my second layer, I'll just start my first design. So the first design is, uh, I, I called it BU. And it really, I wanted to say be yourself, but the final design that I came up with is pretty much a back design, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on the front. Now, there are people who do textures and stuff in Illustrator. I do textures in Illustrator, but today I don't want to really kind of confuse you guys with this. So what I'm going to do first is put the design in Illustrator and then I'm going to texture it in Photoshop. Now I'm going to grab the shape tool on layer two and I'm just going to go ahead and start my shaping. So when it comes down to typography, I know that Forever 21 doesn't use a lot of serif fonts. As a matter of fact, they use a lot of sans serifs and majority of the time they're stretching them out, but I'm not going to stretch them out this time. I'm just going to go ahead and design it as if I'm designing for a regular client. I'm going to use a sans serif. I'm going to try to pick it, but before I do that, I want to get my letterings together. Now these look cool. I like the font, but I don't think it's a Forever 21 type of style of font. So I'm going to go ahead and go through my fonts and try to find a font that works with Forever 21. So remember I told you earlier that Forever 21 likes to stay modern. So I have to find a fresh font that's modern and works well with the design. So the font that I decided to choose was Franklin Gothic Medium. The reason why is because it's a sans serif and that's pretty much modern in the world that we live in today. Not only that, but the font works pretty well with the rectangle. The edges are pretty much well defined. It just has that undertone that says you can be minimalist, but you can still be you and stand out. So that's the reason why I chose Franklin Gothic Medium. I'm gonna go ahead and make this tape overlay or whatnot. So all I have to do is make a rectangle with the rectangle tool and just kind of like shift it over and then lay it on top. You see Forever 21 do this a lot. Okay, so this is pretty much looking good. All I have to do is turn on my guides again and just kind of look at the shapes. I know that this shape here is overlapping the guide, so I'm going to need to go ahead and knock these out. And that's pretty much it. So after this, I'll be able to texture this. Before I start doing the Pathfinder and knocking out these shapes or whatnot, I need to go ahead and turn these strokes into outlines. So basically what that did was it turned all those strokes into an outline. And now I can select all of this by clicking and holding, go to my shape builder tool and just kind of build these shapes up. And that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty legit. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing my texturing on this one. Okay. So now that I'm in Photoshop, I already did my copy. All I have to do is paste it in by hitting command V, 
turn it into a smart object so it retains its vector and then hit OK. So usually when I do textures, I like to put a lot of scratches and dust on it. But in this case, I just want to take a minimalistic approach to this design. I'm just going to put a little dust over here on this side and a little dust over here on this side. So here is my chalkboard texture. It's dusty. I love it. It just works out really well. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in and hit enter. And then since it's black already and it has a bunch of white already in it, I'll just turn it into a lighten and then just kind of scale it down and move it into where I need it to be at. So that's pretty much it for this one. I'm going to go ahead and start the second one before I start mocking anything up. But I pretty much like how this one turned out and I'm going to go ahead and do this next one. So now that I'm back in Illustrator, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my guides again. And now I'm going to go ahead and work on the second artboard to create the, the second thumbnail that I created. And I know I need to make a stroke out of this and I don't really need a fill. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these around. So instead of the stroke coming from the center, which would be like from the outside and the inside, I want it just to affect the stuff in the inside and not on the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the stroke panel and then I'm going to go to the align stroke and put it on the inside, which is this one right here. Next thing I want to do is just go ahead and type out the actual wording here. So at the top, it said loyal on the sides, it said 1989 and the bottom over here it said STL. So let me go ahead and do that. The font that I'm going to choose to use today is Futura. The reason why I'm using it is because it was made out of a square. So the proportions align just like a square kind of, and I can use that in each of these squares right here to create the word loyal. Okay, and this is pretty much what they do. I have this pretty much laid out. Now I have to do just a few more things to the actual design and a few more things to this actual loyal right here. And then I can put the centerpiece in and uh, we can just start our textures from there as well. So just fixing this out just a little bit more just to get that style going, that abstract style that they like doing. And then I'll be able to put the textures on it. So this is technically ready to go. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in Photoshop and then put textures on it. Now, obviously, this one is not like a full color or anything like that. It's just one solid color. So the background is going to show throughout all of this. So so I can pretty much just put one texture in over all of this and then it'll just show up on the black, which is what I wanted to do. OK, so now the next step is to just go ahead and turn them into smart objects, which I've already done. And I'm just going to go ahead and take this out, hold and grab this out and then drop this into a hoodie that I created specifically for this project. So you guys, if you want this hoodie, make sure you visit my website at www.robertloyal.com. It's free to download. You can have it. You can use it for your own purposes. I just do not want you selling it to other people. And then boom, there it is. This is the mock-up that I created specifically for this project. It's fully customizable and it's free. One thing that I like about this though, is that it's pretty much in the style of Forever 21. So it has its rips. It has like the laces and stuff like that. The rips going here, the laces. And not only that, it's fully customizable as far as color and stuff like that. So I can slide this color in the color balance and get different colors. But it doesn't stop there. You guys, I have a multicolored version of this as well. So turning this one off right here in this group that will say shirt, you get that gradient pattern that Forever 21 loves to create. So you pretty much get a good style with this. I like it. I hope you guys like it as well. But I'm going to go ahead and drop in this second design and see what we get out of it. And here it is, you guys, in this minimalistic style that Forever 21 so loves to use. This is the first design that I created, and you guys can create too. Pretty simple or not, but I hope you guys got it down. And I'm going to go ahead and put this mock-up on my website so you guys can download it. And that is it, you guys. So thank you for watching this tutorial today. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Before you guys go, I want to let you guys know about my ultimate mock-up pack that I'm putting together and it will be coming out pretty soon. You guys, this mock-up is pretty huge 
has different models, different t-shirts, different apparels, different hats, everything combined into one where you guys can just kind of move it around and just play with it to get what you want out of it. With this mock-up being as huge as it is, it will cost $4.99 on my website, but it's definitely a good value. You'll love it. It'll help you out with your business going forward. So you guys, I would like to end this on that note. Stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.